Welcome back. It's been about four years since we've done Go, but you know, this could be fun. Let's try to get back into it. Um, so here we are on the online Go server, OGS, and uh, seeking a 9 by 9 game at just a pace of 30 seconds per move. And so we could see here, um, somewhere you'll see listed by Seek, or maybe you don't. I don't see it listed there. I see other people seeks mostly for longer games, but also I see a five Q player out there. Game started. All right. Oh. Uh, sure. We can enable this. All right. Good luck. Let's go into Zen mode here. So, yeah, I'm not sure how opening Joseki work in the nine by nine variant. But just don't let all your stones get split into a thousand groups, and you'll do kind of okay. So I think these two are connected. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure what to make of this. Hmm. Maybe this is fun? I don't know. Just after I said don't let your stones get split, I'm getting split here. This stone at C7 might die. But, you know, it's 9x9. Nine nine. Um, interesting. Oh, right! So this is kind of like Panuki there, but not really. I can connect. Why don't I connect? This connection looks reasonably strong, you know? Okay, but now I've got Panuki here. Sure, and you've got it there, and that's fine. Uh, I got it first. So, I have the high ground, or something like that. Um, I don't know. Is this reasonable? Right, so... All right, that's not an empty triangle. That's a filled triangle. And now the question comes, how dead is my stone up there? Uh, that's tricky. Wow. Well, damn. I don't know, is this reasonable? Also, I forget when I play a default 30 second per move game, like, what's, um, how many Bioyomi periods do I get? I don't remember. Okay. Like I said, life and death problems are a bit of a challenge, especially if you're a double digit Q like me. So, chances are I'm going to die in the corner while trying to live there. I don't think I've done anything horribly wrong. I mean, yeah, this is contentious, because they can attack from this side to reduce it, and I need to make two eyes. Um, not sure if I should invade around 2-2 two -two or thereabouts, but that seems not smart because they have one large connected group, and I have two groups that are not so large and not so connected. Mm -hmm. And since, like, it's not possible for me to connect opposite corners here, and for them to also connect opposite corners, that's just not how this game works. So, yeah, if they do establish a solid connection and take the top part of the board, Oh, it's my turn again. No, it's not. I played this. Oh, I see. They captured one white stone, but it is Black's turn. I'm catching on. Slowly. But yeah, I was thinking if I had put a stone at C8, do I have enough room to live? It's one of those things I've never been able to 
fully grasp. It's like what's alive and what's not alive. Oh, this is interesting too. I could Atari there. And all oh, this would be self Atari. I can't do that. But yeah, apparently this month also brings uh, the Japanese New Year and a number of announcements about, um, at least in the Shogi world, uh, promotions and retirements and such. So it's exciting to hear uh, players doing well on their journeys there. And it's tragic when players uh, just have to retire and find something else after enjoying such a beautiful game. All right, so I think there's one Byoyomi period. My opponent either is very heavily reading this out, is going to drop a stone at C8 and make me cry, or um, something else is up. I'm not sure where they're supposed to attack me here. Let's check my overlay. Overlay looks fine, although this chat message got cut off. Let's roll another proverb. Yes, yeah, so that should capture okay. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I played this white stone here. This is strange. Maybe I've disconnected and I just don't know it. Oh, five Byoyomi periods. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so this game might slow down a lot. didn't realize just how difficult this position is. Or something came up. Did they chat anything? Evidently not. So, yeah. How ironic that, like... I you know. have one! All right, thank you for the game. Ah, they disconnected. Oh, wow. So this game was remarkably close. Um, I took an advantage around here. By, wait, where was it that they, here? Oh, I could have played one closer. Interesting. Minus 39. <laughs> Wait, really? What is this? Is that a percentage? Yeah, that must be like a win percentage thing. Mr. Bobbins is live on Twitch. Cool. You know who else is? I hear this guy. All right, so... Um, I see. So this score estimator... Uh, on Black's turn, it swings upward, even though on the previous turn it didn't evaluate any error on my part. As it goes forward through the game, the score evaluation thing changes. Whatever. Honestly, just having a rough shape of where the game is at is kind of interesting. Um, oh, so this here move loses 70%. Yeah, because they formed a solid connection here and I'm screwed. Better would be this point here. That's cool. Okay, and then, yeah, as they played this, 
um, I formed a solid connection again, and there I have some chances. Who'd have thunk? Alright, let's try to play another game. Uh, 9 by 9 30 seconds per game move. started. Good luck. Oh, we go first. Center point isn't usually the terrible move. Oh, if they could play this point, that'd be weird. So I tend to do this. I don't know if it's good or bad. Um, this looks kind of fun. I think I win. I think this looks very winning. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this came to happen. Um, hmm. All right, so there's a weakness here. Let's go attack it. Let's so solidify that. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do when they just give me the win like this. I'm so perplexed. Um, I could break this connection here. I could take this corner a little bit, I guess. Yeah, let's connect here. Why not? Take the top side of that. This is bizarre. Maybe I need to take the B2 corner also. But um, it's certainly easier for me to live than it is for them to live. But I guess they're trying to take territory. I go here, the Atari. That's no fun. If I seal this, that's one point in the end game. Let's take this instead. Maybe this is an overplay on my part? Yeah, that's an overplay. Damn. Whatever. Okay, that is an Atari, so my stone is dead. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, I guess I need to play here. Oh, I can't Atari there either. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. That's bad play on my part. I don't want to make an empty triangle. Uh, let's stick this here, see what happens. This should just surround that. Yeah, that was not useful. Um, guess we'll seal this. Okay, they prevent my Atari in advance. I don't know what I've done here. It's quite decorative. 
Um. Connect this together. Right, so this is an Atari here. Protect that. I have zero territory is my problem. So, yeah, I lose very badly. Very, very badly. Um... Hmm. Can I make any useful threats? If I try to live in their space, they kill me. I mean, I have to try, right? That's the idea. And if somehow they royally fuck it up, then, like, I actually do live, but that's not happening. Um... If I place there, they kill both, and they have two eyes. Right, so I can't prevent them from getting two eyes that way. Um, here they likewise just make two eyes. So the best I can do is this rather unsubtle thing here. Right, so now they live. I die there. Are there any tricks left? No. Byo yomi. Mm hmm. I guess this is sensible. And then, like, if I throw in. Keep throwing in, that's still no good. Um, hmm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four periods left. So if I go here, they connect. If I go there, they kill. If I go there again, they kill again. I don't have a better move than pass here. Yeah, because they're Ten, not killing nine, my corner. Eight, seven, six, pass. We'll pass. Remove the dead stones. Yeah, I agree. White wins. Yeah, nicely played. I got crushed. Nicely done. Yeah, uh, GG. So, yeah, this is why I'm stuck at 11Q, in case it's not immediately obvious. Um, no, I had a really large advantage at the beginning because the way this opened. I could have connected strongly and really didn't need to push the envelope a whole lot here. Um, so how did I let this drift so badly? Okay, this is minus 21%. This is the ideal thing, sure. I like this point. Okay, so they're saying this could have played out like this. Five. Yeah, this is a nice shape. I don't need to play every corner of the board, or I don't need to play opposite corners at the same time. I'm just going to make my life difficult if I try to do that. Ah, computer finished analyzing my game there. That's cool. So yeah, I played some dumb moves. Um, they should play here instead. Uh, oh, connecting was terrible. And yeah, going toward the corner was considerably better. Yeah, this is a lost move here. Approaching this way would have been fine too. But yeah, I just made lots of mistakes. Alright, it happens. Let's play again. Yeah, I was rather surprised, though, that my opponent played in one corner and then played in the opposite corner. Um, 
I guess what doing that indicates is that you want influence. You want to be able to attack me later. It Game does not... Started. All right. Good luck. Oh, I go first. No, I go second. We're taking the center point, because that's just objectively strong. At least it feels that way. Um, hmm. Interesting. Not sure what to say about that. So they play a knight's move separate, I play a knight's move separated. Um, hmm. Any mini money mo. Huh, this is not easy. There's options here for sure. If I play here, they just play somewhere aggressively. I think this is reasonable. I'm surprised that there are and well, I should know that there are engines. That play this sort of thing, uh, this nine by nine, and can evaluate it. Um, okay, what would be the strongest way to play this? If I threaten to push, we both build walls right next to each other, and that's not smart. Um. You know, what's a strong and flexible way to play this? I could walk right into here. I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm too curious. Let's find out. So I think this forces a d8 connection, to which I respond to d6. And so I have a filled triangle. I think that's fine. I mean, alternatively, they could try to, like, extend this one way or another. Or descend, or whatever you call it. Okay. Not seen that one before. Um. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hmm. I admit some confusion here, so please teach me. <laughs> Should we get another proverb? I don't have any go proverbs. There we go. Close enough. A vulgar move may be brilliant. And in 9x9 nine nine play, that's certainly the case. Like, there's not a whole lot of room for subtlety on this board. Stuff either works or doesn't work. Okay. So that's Atari in two places. Makes sense. Alright, we erase the Atari. But they've broken our shape. <laughs> hmm. 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 That's a mess. Don't know what to do.
think we try to cut this. Because if they manage to forward one large group across the center, that's bad news for me. So, this kind of makes sense. I've got a stick. Um, I guess we just keep pursuing, right? Or is that unwise? Hmm. Okay, they seem committed to splitting my forces. What can I do? Wait, this is Atari. <laughs> uh, that's an Atari. Huh. Well, that was interesting. I appear to have you accident. Have All right, thank you for the game. Oops. Yeah. All right, GG. All right, so with that, we ascend into the 10Q bracket somehow. That was cool. So this particular move loses 88%. Um, and apparently I didn't throw the game after they did that, so good on me for not throwing the game. Yeah, Panuki's not a bad shape. And I just alternated playing on the top and the bottom here. There's a bottom, there's a top. They kind of forced me to play on the top again, play down the bottom again, and approach from the top once more, and yeah, this, uh, if they connect, then that just collects it all. So, how did this start off, though? So, yeah, I guess Santa starts with an advantage. Um, Alright, so here I played really close to their stone. Yeah, so when they play so aggressively here... Wait, no, they play close to me. And I attacked in turn, which is not called for. This connection, which I was thinking about, actually is the right move. But other moves are playable. But what I played, this split, is completely uncalled for, because I have no strength in either side of the board here. So, interesting. Alright, let's play again. I forgot to check when I'm seeking these games. I assume it's by Japanese scoring rules, because that's, I think, the default. I don't know how to change that or whether Japanese is really appropriate for a 9x9 game. Feels like a lot 
could happen. Well, you're not going to have subtle positions in a 9x9 game, at least not that I've seen. In larger board games, sure, you will have subtlety, but I wonder how many 9x9 games actually are decided by subtle differences. Uh, I mean, so if this goes up to one minute seeking game, maybe we'll t uh, take a quick look at how it is that we seek a game and what options are available. Yeah, okay, so we have been looking for one minute. So there's a settings button here uh, for normal, look within three ranks, no preference on handicap, time control, Yomi, default Japanese rules, prefer or require, oh, I see. Um, well, I'm not playing by AGA rules because that's a bit tricky for me right now. Sure, Chinese scoring seems fun. But, you know, we don't have to play by any particular set there. So, yeah, if, we able, or if we're able to get a 9x9 nine nine game, we'll play another 9x9 nine nine game. Otherwise... Uh, I recognize that I don't remember any Game openings. Started. All right, good luck. But despite not remembering openings, perhaps it wouldn't hurt me to... Um, let's see. Do I play in here? Yeah, why not? Wouldn't hurt to play some 19 by 19. Although, like I said, there's a very strong chance I would do something ridiculous in the opening. Now, it's assumed that I have this point. It's not assumed that I have this one, but if I play here, they play there. Hmm. Where do I play? This looks like a good compromise. Or I don't think I can easily be split up, but also I do divide their forces. Okay. Hmm. If I go there, they just connect. So that's not smart. Um, this looks kind of fun. Yeah, I've got strength on both sides of this. Do I cross cut? If I do the Atari, I can return the Atari with another Atari. Um, or I can cut in here directly. So they get a panuki and a stone. Oh, that's another way to resolve an Atari situation, isn't it? Not seen that before. I descend, they descend. Yeah, Atari's no good there. Um, but this is the kind of the direction I wanted to go. But I might be running into a trap. Oh, if they do this, then if I try to run, well, you know, if I counted it out, I think I'm okay, but I should have counted it out. So here, there, here, there, there, yeah, no, I think I'm fine. I'm sorry, there, here, there, yeah. I survive, but it's close. It's too close for comfort. Um, now we learned from our other game that this is a fine move in general. Is it a fine move here? Maybe. Is there something more important going on in this position? Almost certainly. 
but hmm. I no, that's just walking into a trap. We're gonna play here and not die. Not die just yet. So yeah, we're strongly connected. And they're right in not taking this yet, because they don't need to yet. It just continues to vex us both. Um, now if I do this, or this, is that over-concentrated? I don't think so. Well, no, they have a ton of territory, unless I play here. I play here, they do there. I can back off. It's okay. So they get the right edge of the board. They get the upper left corner and they get one stone. Um, if I play here, they cross-cut me, right? Am I just imagining that? Wait, if I descend, they... yeah, this is dumb. I can't allow them to take this. Um, so this is fine. Whoa! Wow. Okay, that's sharp. Uh, if I go here, I'm pretty sure I get Atari in the worst possible way. Um, hmm. I go up if they do this. Wait a second. How bad is this? This is wild. Absolutely wild. Should I reinforce back here, or what? How much do I need to be happy? How much do I need to be happy? Well, I want to learn, so show me how this game works. Show me how this game works. I think you've got to take my group here. And then we're going to get in some weird... No, I just have two dead stones. That's not weird. That's just dumb. Unless I can live in the corner, but that's not a happy life. Even if it is living, it's probably not. I keep trying to, like, get something out of this stone being dead. So every time I can, like, continue pushing this way because they're going to eventually take this, I keep pushing. So that is Atari. Yummy. That is Atari. I'd seen this connection. So we're going to connect. Okay, they connect as well. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Four periods left. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. If I go here. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Screw it. We're finding out how this works. My contention is that maybe I could prevent them from getting two eyes. I don't know how much I pay for this, but. Uh, no, they have two eyes. Don't they? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Three periods left. Yeah, they have two eyes. Wait, where's the second eye? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, it's when they play either four, of these two points. Three, That's the second two, die. One. Two periods left. All right. So I guess we go this way. Try to live in the corner. Despite demonstrating just a minute ago that I don't know life and death problems. Um... Ten, nine. Oh, that's bulky five. H nine's the key point on a bulky five shape. Assuming I even get the shape, which it looks like I might not. Yeah, nicely spotted, dude. Yep, all right. Um, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last period. Mm -hmm. This ain't going well at all. Okay. Push here. It's probably not going to make much of a difference. They have to kill that. Oh, if they connect this either way, they live. Okay, this sucks. Um, hmm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. think that's all we can do here. It's with four stones dying, this probably can't be enough.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I think that's about the extent of it. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Pass. Remove the dead stones. Oh, wow, really? Oh, there's just these. Yeah. White wins. Yeah, nicely played. Good game. All right, so they had a winning position from this point in the game. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I don't know, like, let's see, 71%, and then here, 97, and then here, this point where I overplayed severely cost me. Where was their previous play? They just made a solid shape here, so I can't make complete chaos, and I have to play this here. And this could happen. Okay. Sure, something like that's possible, I guess. If they try this, and then I play this. But this is not the most important move on the board. And yeah, I died. And there was no coming back from it. Except for this point where they didn't take advantage immediately. Well, they did. They did. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, this corner was the most interesting point, and I just completely ignored it. Um, yeah, let's play again. Game started. Good luck. Wow. All right, show me your next move. Okay. I'm feeling like not getting cut in half this game, so we're just going to play some incredibly slow moves here that don't take a lot of space. Uh, maybe? Sure, why not? Okay, the fight begins. Which side do we pick? If we pick that side... Like, we're in an immediate disadvantage there. Um, if we pick this side... No, we're still... We're at a disadvantage either way here. Because they have no strength on either side to support this stone. Okay, so maybe I just ignore it? I don't know. We'll call this stone on g5 dead until it proves its worth otherwise. Which I assume it will, but depends which way they play. Wow! Okay. That's some first line territory right there. Except there's no area under the first line, so yeah, I don't know. That's complicated. Um, sure.
So this immediately surrounds the G9 stone. Um, some threatening F9, which is Atari that they cannot escape. Mm -hmm. I am so stumped what they're doing. Okay, we Atari. Okay, I guess we Atari again. Or do we do that from this side now? This is not self Atari, right? If I do that, they push. I push here again. They can keep going, but the, yeah, it's just dead. Atari, 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 etc. So. Yeah, we prevent this group from connecting to that group. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six groups. Okay. Uh, they're trying to connect this group to that group. I could Panuki. Right? Do I even want to? <laughs> like, capturing a stone doesn't seem as useful as it is. It doesn't even... I don't know if it's my best play. It looks very good to take the stone. Looks very, very good to take it, but then they can connect here. So taking this other stone looks even better. Sure. So now three of their groups are in Atari, and a fourth of their groups is the G9 stone, right? Oh, I see. This counters... Yeah, I'm in Atari here. I'm an idiot. All right. Point taken. <sighs> I'm an idiot. I should have taken the two stones. Because I didn't see the Atari, I didn't take them. Still, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm annoyed. Okay, we're going to connect here. They're going to take our stone, and we're going to pretend we never put the stone there. Although maybe what we did was just fine, because, like, this stone might be more important than that one. Maybe. But, yeah. That's self-Atari. I'll take that. I mean, aside from throw-ins, I have not seen a situation where self-Atari is a good move. So... We'll just enjoy this for what it is. Um, see, now if I just connect here, what are they going to do? They could push out and I could surround them. Yeah, you've created this enormous wall that I'm now pushing you into. I don't think that's what they intended to do. Um, okay, I have two liberties. If I push here, they've got one. I have two. I'm not going to self-Atari myself again, because that would be spectacular if I did.
Or rather, I'm not going to, like, allow them to Atari me. All right. Um, I don't need to act here right away, do I? No. What a bizarre position. So, I mean, I could go here again. I could go this way. This looks stronger. I don't know why. No, I know why, because I don't want them building up something strong on both sides. Well, they don't have something strong on both sides of this. Yeah. It'd be very difficult for them to build up any strength here. Uh, this is insane. Mm -hmm. This is madness. Let's just push through here. You know, I guess I'm letting them take the corner and that's kind of dumb of me. Hmm. Which way should I go here? I don't need to connect. That's Ten, already a solid nine, connection. Eight, eight. Seven. Six. Yeah, this is fine. I think I'll... Oh, well, okay. I missed something here. They could drop a stone right here. Um, mm. Yeah, I let them have the corner accidentally, but they've not taken it yet. That's Selfatari. I think all of their stones die, unless they can manage to, like, make two eyes somewhere. It's looking harder and harder for them to make two eyes anywhere. I play here, they play there. <sighs> I want to kill all the stones, just to see if I can do it. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven... seven. Actually, killing all the stones might not be the most profitable way to win. Now that I think more about how the game works. Um, yeah, there are better ways to control territory than placing all your stones to kill all of theirs. But... Um, because if you can kill their stones without placing stones, that's even more efficient. You want to kill the most with placing the least. Um, but yeah, we've captured 10 prisoners. And the only group that might live is the one in the lower right. Um, and that's not looking so likely. So we build this little bamboo joint that cuts the stone from that stone. And I guess we turn here. Making sure not to forget about liberties and stuff like that. Um, Okay. 
Okay. So this cuts all their groups. <laughs> all their groups are separated. The final target is in the lower right corner. Admittedly, okay, well this is just goofy. Am I in Atari anywhere? Like, should I even bother with this? Because I have enough liberties to not worry about it. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Four, four periods three, left. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Three, three periods period left. left. I mean, I think that's the right endgame move. Okay. So now I'm in Atari, so I have to kill. Okay, that's also Atari. It's not Atari. I think I win this game. I've got a good feeling about it. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I guess at this point they have to find the pass button or continue throwing stones. Um, but yes, all of their stones are dead. Unless I've missed something. Perhaps it was not necessary for me to kill every stone. I just wanted to see if this was possible.
So the next question is, how many times could I pass? As long as they don't self Atari. How many times can I pass and still be completely winning this? A lot is the answer. Pass. Hmm. We might be in, in for an adventure, boys. Um, Ten. Sure. Why not? Let's connect that. In case they have any question about it. I should not have done this capture. I should have just passed. I've actually lost one point, I think, because of this placement. I've placed in my own territory. That's self Atari. I don't care. Pass. Are we going through this exercise to see how many stones they can place before realizing that each stone they place just puts them puts themselves in danger? Pass. Like there's they Pass. can't capture any of my stones. I did pick Chinese scoring or Japanese scoring, right? Perhaps I should pick Japanese scoring next time. Just to avoid this. Alright, we're going to take that. <laughs> you know... Actually, we've got a second objective this game now. Let's pursue the second objective. And just see how many turns it takes me to demoralize them. That's our next objective. Victory through attrition. You have one. Thanks for the game. Yeah. Yes, there were no moves sometime around move 87. There's just nothing positive to see in this uh, particular perspective. So perhaps this player um, might be newer, at least a 9 by 9 go, if not to this rule set. Um, but yeah, Shogi's, or rather Go is difficult. Um, I guess we could submit the game for a full AI review if we so desired. So apparently, like a number of times, I missed something critical here. Um, although it didn't end up making a large difference at all. But, you know, I wonder. 
What was the critical thing that I kept, like, missing over and over until I did something here? Or maybe it was until they did something here. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's fun to try something new, isn't it? Sorry for those, um... <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know what to say. Uh, I do want to figure out what score... Okay, yes, there is a call moderator button. Although that's not necessary for 9x9 games. Um, if we switch this back to the win percent thing. Apparently back, way back somewhere back here. Oh, I see. Yeah, this was kind of problematic. They played in one corner. And so I took the rest of the board. I guess that was... Yeah, this is a bit aggressive. I thought, you know, I don't want to fight where I may have a wall already. Let's try to take something like a corner here. Oh, but apparently... Where did this... Everything is a zero there. Minus 27. Yeah, I had quite the reaction here. Oh, this is minus 17%. Interesting. It's too far away. It's not solid. These two points closer would have been fine. I like these two points. They're further away because they really put the onus on the opponent to show me something. Um, ah, and if we were a site supporter, then we could ask for game analyses. So uh, that's kind of cool, too. Um, do I play one more? We've been going for an hour and a half. Maybe we don't play one more. I don't know. Are there any more comments here? No, no more comments that game. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, we turned to preference for Chinese scoring. I guess no preference is probably best for matching us up. It's not like there are a whole lot of options. A whole lot of people playing 9x9 nine nine at the moment anyway. It's probably more fun for me to spectate some of these than actually play them. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll keep playing until we it's time for dinner or something. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, oh it is about Game dinner started. Time. That's okay. All right, good luck. Okay, that's aggressive. Or assertive, anyway. I'm going to build a nice solid shape in response to this. I don't have to hit it head on. I'm going to continue my nice solid stick that controls nothing and influences everything. Um, so they're strongest over here. If I play here, I'm picking a fight where they're strong. If I play back here, and they pick a fight with me, I'm giving up. Yeah, no, I should take this. It's a strategic point. Interesting. Um, hmm. I mean, this is kind of cool, right? Got a nice solid stick through the middle, and we span the top of the board. Um, and we'll tease over here, really meaning that we want to take it this part, part of the board. And tease a little over here. And then we snap our <laughs> into existence over there. And just all heck breaks loose. Um, that looks fun. I mean, yeah, they get our stone. Whatever. And we get to break them. So, yeah, they do have Panuki in the corner. 
They've got a lot of strength in a lot of places here, but I'm not alarmed. Maybe I should be. Why don't I not do this? Why not? I've got no reason why not, unless this is better, or this is better, or something. If I do that, the Atari. Yeah, I have to prevent this Atari, so we're going to do that. They connect. Oh my goodness, that's not a kill! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that was so blind of me. Um... That's embarrassing. Even for me. I did mention it's dinner time. Uh, yeah, knowing the difference between what kills and what does not kill seems kind of important in this game. Can't imagine why. Alright, so let's connect there. You know... Play this big game like I know what I'm doing or something. And yeah, that crashed and burned. That was funny in retrospect, but also sad. So we dropped two stones. There are two prisoners ahead on us. And also, like, my position sucks. So it's not boding well for me. Um... Let's connect, and of course they connect, and what the hell can I do? I don't know. Connect here. Try to play some moves that don't completely suck for endgame scoring. But, yeah, I'm dead. If I connect here, that's a move faster, but... Yeah, this is fine. Every time they build out this way, I'll have to connect like this. So we've got one block that covers not a whole lot of territory. It's a sad endgame move. Um, yeah, this isn't even close. All right, thanks for the game. White wins. Yes, yeah, so they're extremely winning here. Um, oh, right. Yeah, that was an exciting game. An amazing game, perhaps. Yeah. All right, so stuff happened. There's no saving that at the end. I'm kind of glad we played it, though. So, yeah, okay, I played this, wait, around here, wait, what did I do? Okay, so they played a minus 32% move, which gave me an enormous advantage, and I guess that's fine. And then I played this absolutely atrocious thing, and I was off by one. <laughs> Turns out this would have been better somehow. Is this what they call the monkey jump? Or am I thinking of some other knight's move? But yeah, this got really sad. And I continued fucking up repeatedly. Um, and then came 
yeah, the cataclysmic blunder, which just like dropping two stones and all this territory. Which would have been very hard to recover from if I was even mentally prepared for it, which I was not. All right. Well, I hope we enjoyed these games. It's fun practicing Go. Let's see. I don't remember where that puts me. Oh, I'm back at 11Q. That seems about right. Got a long way to climb. Hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.